Hello. Welcome to World Precision Instruments. My name is Nikki, and today I will be showing you how we assemble and calibrate some of our sensors. Today we are going to start with an oxygen sensor, and here I have a sleeve that we're going to fill. I'm going to take the sleeve out of its holder, and here we have an oxygen sensor. I'm going to put the cap onto the sleeve very gently. Like so now, I will take a syringe and filling solution. I will set the sleeve down while I fill the syringe. Make sure you put the syringe far enough down into your vial so that you don't get any air. And since I'm only doing one sleeve, I'm going to take just a little bit. Now I will remove this and I will tap the syringe a little bit to get the air bubbles to the top. And I'll make sure, I'll take a little bit and squeeze it out so we got all the air removed. So Now I will take the actual sleeve and the syringe I will make sure I put down all the way through towards the tip of the membrane. This will ensure that we get at least some filling solution towards the tip. And you should be able to get about one milliliter into the top. And you see there that just enough. I'll remove the syringe and now I will also tap the sleeve just a little bit in case I got an air bubble stuck there. Now I will take an oxygen sensor and again gently slide the sensor into the sleeve. It's natural that a little bit of filling solution will come out because you are creating some capillary pressure. You'll push a little bit out but that's not going to be a problem. And I will screw the locking cap in. Make it tight. And you should be able to see that the tip of the sensor is touching the membrane, sticking out a little bit. So you know that you have good connection. Now I will take the sensor, you'll plug this in. This is our TBR4100 here, and I'm going to make sure I have the correct poise voltage, so I will adjust to oxygen, and we'll adjust the range for oxygen, so we're in 100 nanoamp range. Mm -hmm. Now, I will place this in one of our clamps, like so. Now I will fill a vial, 20 milliliters or thereabouts of the 0.1 molar PBS buffer. For oxygen, we're measuring the response, so it does not have to be exact. And I'll take this over now to our magnetic stirrer and try to center it so I've got a normal rotation speed. It's not too strong, it's not too small. I will place our oxygen sensor in the PBS buffer. Gently move it down and secure it, like so. And now we will start recording data. So I hit record. On this one we are using channel 2, which will be right here, where the cursor is. See just a little bit of the data being recorded as we speak. Welcome back. I've had our oxygen sensor recording data for some time. If you take a look, you'll notice that we have about 45 minutes worth. So now, what we will do is turn the gas on so we can calibrate this sensor. We try to get it saturated, so we want to have the gas flowing for about 10 to 15 minutes to approximate a saturation point. So I'm going to turn on the nitrogen first. And medium flow rate will be suitable because we have a small enough volume that we don't need to bleed this for hours on end. Now I'm turning the oxygen on. Again, I want a steady flow rate so that we can get it saturated after a few minutes. That should be suitable. And we will let that go for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll pick up and start the actual calibration the sensor. 